Hi and welcome to Let's Talk. Dr. K.P. Haridas has been providing exceptional service to the society for more than four decades. First as a leading surgeon in Kerala and since 2000 as an entrepreneur, a socially committed entrepreneur running a multidisciplinary hospital, Lords in Trivandrum. Today we have with us Dr. K.P. Haridas. Let's talk. like Trivandrum that has numerous multi-speciality hospitals, what is the Lord's advantage? How do you stand out? That's a very good question. I have to think really. We are also a multi-speciality rather than multi-disciplinary hospital like uh, many other hospitals in Trivandrum. Although the size of the hospital is not uh, as big as uh, many of them, it is not the size that matters what you exactly do within the available size. That's the most important. That is where we are different from other hospitals. And uh, we are one of the pioneers in uh, minimally invasive surgery. That is surgery of the 21st century. We very seldom do open surgeries. Okay. And uh, that is surgery of the past. We do the present day surgery. That we we are definitely different from other hospitals in Trivandrum. Okay, so that would be your uh, that key is would, advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. What are the benefits of uh, minimally invasive surgery? Oh, minimally invasive surgery is done through tiny holes, mm -hmm. three or four tiny holes in the tummy. Okay. Suppose an uh, actress comes to you, she has got appendicitis. Mm -hmm. I had to operate on one of the film actresses when I was an assistant professor in the medical college okay. long back in the early 80s. Okay. They had flown uh, from Madras, came to my hospital, I was in the medical college. She had an appendicectomy done through an open uh, wound. Okay. That gives a big long scar for the patient, mm -hmm. maybe four centimeter, mm -hmm. six centimeter or even seven, seven, eight centimeter. Today, what we do is somebody with an appendicectomy, two tiny holes or three tiny holes, we do an appendicectomy. And uh, somebody who doesn't want a scar at all, mm -hmm. we place a device in the umbilicus. Mm -hmm. I do a single port appendicectomy. There won't be any scar at all. Mm -hmm. Through the device, the camera, the telescope, and the operating instruments go. I need only three openings. So that is minimally invasive. The advantages are everything is advantage. Less pain, mm -hmm. no scar. You can eat next day. You can go home after an appendicectomy. Maybe same evening or next day. Absolutely, everything is an advantage. The patient comfort is amazing. Okay. The problem we have, what is the problem we have? We don't have the technology is advanced, okay. but we don't have the so-called technicians are okay. the surgeons who are competent to do this. That's the problem. So okay. that is where we excel. And here we have uh, single port surgery, laparoscopic surgery for all hernias, all abdominal uh, procedures. We have laparoscopic surgery. We have uh, radio frequency ablation for varicose veins. We have stapler surgery for uh, piles. There is no wound outside. There is no recurrence. There is no pain. Okay. Then one of the latest we do is uh, waft a procedure called waft video assisted anal fistula treatment. Anal fistula is notorious for recurrence. Mm -hmm. And this is the latest procedure for anal fistula. This is the only center right now in Kerala to do anal fistula treatment. 
using endoscope okay. with your assistant. Okay. Wow. But uh, LOTS is also a training center for uh, laparoscopic surgery. Yes, yes. Yeah. So tell us a bit about the training facilities available uh, here. Training facilities, we have um, all the facilities available. Those who want to come in. Right now there are uh, two doctors come from, one from Calicut, Dr. Anna Mani. Okay. And then another doctor from Pariyaram. Okay. Uh, two trainees with me right now. Okay. And um, whenever they, they come, I give training without any, any, any charges okay. at all and free training. And okay. we give them what they want as well, like uh, their food and things like that, we take care. Okay. We give free training. The purpose is that uh, the patients at large, the public at large, they must benefit in the long term. Okay. So I don't mind training any surgeon for that matter. Uh, you are a much sought after surgeon with more than four decades of experience. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what are some of the major changes that you've seen in the approach towards surgery? You talked about minimally yeah, invasive right, surgeries. Right, right, yeah. uh, in the approach towards surgery, what are the innovations or what are the changes that you have seen over these years? Right. I could see both ends actually. I started off in the 1970s and in the 80s probably was the best time in uh, traditional surgery. 70s, uh, 80s, the best part of uh, traditional surgery I've been there. And uh, the begin, from the beginning of uh, minimally invasive surgery, I've been through. The advantages, uh, probably not many will get that. And I am doing almost everything in uh, minimally invasive surgery as of today, including bariatric surgery. So the changes are, the changes taking place in medical field, especially in surgery, is uh, technological advancement. You cannot even catch up. Before you close and open your eyes, there is some change already has come. So that's the way it is uh, progressing. So surgeons will have to run. You don't have time to sit. They have to run to catch up the emerging technology. Now the, uh, the robotic surgery on your doorstep and uh, not even 1% of uh, surgeons in the country or in Kerala have not picked up even uh, the minimally invasive surgery. Leave alone robotic. Robotic is already there. Okay. So that's the way it is uh, going and the people have to know. The public are uh, probably aware more than the people in the medical field, I think. You're also known for, uh, for your expertise in uh, liver resection. Yes, yes, yes. So tell us a little bit about that procedure. Liver surgery, in the YouTube I have given my old liver resections actually, if you watch. That is liver surgery in the 1980s in Kerala. While I was an assistant professor in the Tuvanda Medical College, I started off extensive resections of liver for carcinoma, cancer liver. Hepatocell carcinoma. That is the main indication. And also for secondaries when they are single. Right now, uh, I have a patient who has already undergone a right lobectomy, extended right lobectomy. She had a large tumor of the right lobe of the liver that was resected. She is a 44 year old female from Maldives, come to me with uh, weight loss and uh, swelling in the abdomen. She is recovering very fast. You talked about obesity. Yeah. Obesity is a major lifestyle disorder of today. Are there, are there a lot of takers for weight loss uh, surgeries? Obesity is one of the dreadful uh, diseases. Not many realize this. It's a killer disease. It is deadlier than terrorism. Mm -hmm. More people die of obesity than terrorism. So obesity is the root cause of uh, probably diabetes, Hypertension, heart disease, back pain, acid reflux, sleep apnea, snoring, infertility in girls and ladies, sexual dysfunction, joint pains, you name anything. All be traced and to all obesity. The dreadful yeah. complications of obesity. When we say obesity, someone is obese. When the BMA crosses 
25. Okay. Between 25 and 30, we take it as overweight. When it crosses 30 BMI, it's obesity. When it crosses 40, we call it morbid obesity. Okay. When it crosses 50, it is super obesity. In fact, I had a lady just finished uh, a major operation 10 days ago, just come for review. She had already lost 20 kilos in 15 days. Okay. And uh, she was super obese. Her BMI mm -hmm. was 51. Okay. And uh, we get a lot of patients coming in. People are not aware. And mm -hmm. uh, the, the physicians especially, and the surgeons and doctors and media must uh, make awareness and the dangers of uh, obesity. Touch wood, fortunately for me, I've been doing quite a lot of them. And in 10 days last week, I did four uh, mini gastric bypass. The patient care uh, depends on the doctor and the nurse, nursing services. It's very important. Suppose the patient is in pain, middle of the night, the doctor may not be there, but the nurse available must be able to relieve the pain. Most of them, yeah, when they pass out, we try to accommodate as many as possible. Mm -hmm.